Howard Balzer, now on Rockin' Manooch with Jimmy B on Fox Sports 910. Look how Bob the voice guy, Howard Balzer. He brings it? Brings it here brings on it. Fox Sports 910. How we doing, Howard? What's going on, buddy? I'm doing great. Doing great. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Can you uh, tell us what's going on with the shakeup in the Cardinals front office? What's what's uh, Is there something going on over there? All these guys that, that have been a lot of tenure are gone. Yeah, a lot of a lot of changes on the business side, and, and from the way I hear it, the way the way I understand it is, while there are a bunch of people leaving, there's also some others coming. And you know, Michael Bidwell hired a new um, you know guy to run the business side of it uh, during the season, and this apparently was a lot of what his recommendations uh, were. Uh, but like you said, a lot of longtime people uh, that that are exiting uh, the organization. You know, I don't know. I don't know how similar as this is to other teams I, I doubt that there would be this much change and in, in most teams with a lot of you know a lot of people who've been working you know working for a while but <clears throat> i'm sure that uh, you know that the goal was to you know maybe streamline a little bit and i, I from one thing i've heard is how they're really going to be pushing uh, season tickets and all those things so and i think that's where a lot of the a new focus is going to be on the marketing and all that end uh, of it, you know, but still uh, it's always jarring, you know, when things, when things like this happen with a, you know, with a team that's worth, you know, close to $4 billion. You mm -hmm. wonder how much is really necessary. Howard, it's almost like might as well just throw the baby out with the bathwater with all the changes. I mean, these are high level executives. I could see maybe one or two, but I mean, wholesale changes throughout it. And I, I'm just curious, if you do get a chance to you know, talk to Michael Bidwell, to how much this might have been revolved around the allegations and investigation uh, into the toxic atmosphere there, allegedly, for the Arizona Cardinals, and who might have talked and who didn't uh, in reference to if that had anything to do with it? Yeah, you hope, you hope it didn't, uh, certainly. And certainly he would probably never address those questions. And so whether it you know, had a certain amount to do with it, uh, who knows? Certainly some of the people who were there back when a lot of that happened, you know, uh, weren't, uh, you know, weren't there then, but uh, there's obviously been a lot of, you know, talk and a lot of people you know, speaking anonymously about the way things are, you know, in that organization, you know, in terms, but, you know, it seems, it seems that so much of it though re revolved around Michael, but then again, you know, they had that survey and with, with, you know, asking people to be honest and forthright about the organization. And then when they started hearing some of the answers, they shut it down. Well, uh, hopefully all those answers, you know, the, supposedly those surveys were anonymous and they didn't really know who was saying things. So I don't know. It, I, I, I tend to believe that it was more about this new business guy coming in and saying, OK, you know, maybe, you know, maybe he felt they were top heavy, you know, in certain areas and that maybe, you know, they were just, you know, had had too many people. I don't know. It's, it's hard to get to the true bottom of it all. But obviously, they're making a bunch of changes as they go forward. When do you expect to hear anything from this investigation? I don't know. That's that's a great question. I mean, it's you know it's ongoing. There's been depositions. We know uh, all those things, and I I don't. I, you know, it, it's hard to say. We we know the NFL works relatively slowly mm -hmm. on these things. We saw with the whole Washington situation and some others uh, that it took quite a while uh, before anything. It was made public, and who knows if they'll even make anything public uh, with this, depending on what they find and you know what they and what they believe. But you know, there's two you know there's two things going on at the same time. There's one with the whole grievance filed by Terry McDonough, and then you have you know some of the other allegations that you wonder how much how much any of that if it if it's even being you know investigated and with some of the things that have been said because you know most of the things that have been said uh, have been anonymous. Three so. I think in, unless people speak out and put a name to it and would come forward to the NFL on terms of, you know, the, the toxic workplace stuff, then they don't they don't really have a whole lot uh, to go on. You know, I found I found it interesting that one of the guys who was back here then who has gone public, uh, Mike Disner, I mean, he's being interviewed by some he's with the Lions now. and He's being interviewed by some other teams uh, for jobs. So there's there, there's a lot of murkiness in this whole situation. And I, I don't know. We'll ever really know the truth. And how about this, guys? I was thinking of this the other day, and I'll look into it. We have not heard a word about the grievance 
that was filed by Sean Coogler. Oh, yeah. And when yeah. he was fired, what was it, December, January, was it now, 14 months ago uh, when, the, when, the, when the Cardinals were in Mexico City uh, for a game? And then he was fired at that, and then a grievance was filed, and it was going to arbitration, and we've heard nothing uh, on that, that in that, you know, in over a year. So the, you know, the wheels of justice, if you will, of course, they, they spin slowly everywhere. I mean, obviously, it's not limited to Two. the NFL. It seems that that's the case in, you know, just about anything that there is that is either a civil case or a criminal case. But, it, the, but they, they, they definitely spin slowly in the NFL when they investigate these things. All right, we got about a minute. Just I'm sure the evaluations have been done by the staff and the players. Uh, what do you feel from what you can gather uh, is going to be the main focus with this team, either offensively, defensively, and is it any one specific position? I, I, th I think most of the focus will be on defense. Uh, certainly everyone's hoping that the first three picks in the draft are, are quarterbacks, so uh, the Cardinals will be in position to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. But I think aside from that, most of it is on defense, although you do wonder how, how things are affected by you know, the injury that was suffered by DJ Humphrey. So you know, the reality is things looked a lot better at the end of the year. It gave, you know, created a certain level of optimism, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And my, I, I, I personally, I think one of the biggest areas that they need to upgrade is the defensive line. And granted, there were a lot of injuries, one. but it, it still was, you know, not that, you know, not, not that top rated a group when the, when the season began. So that doesn't mean necessarily early in the first round with the draft, but some of those other later round picks, you would think that they'll be really moving to upgrade that, that defensive line and improve the defense overall and cornerback, certainly edge rusher. You wonder about all these edge rushers they have. I, I added this up the other day. Cardinals only had 33 sacks as a team, and only 18 and a half of them came from all those outside linebackers they have. So I, I'm, sure they're, I'm sure they're hoping for improvement from guys they have, like B.J. Ojolari, but you still like to, you know, you, I, I would still expect there to be other additions at that position because there's so much, so much they need to be a much better defense. All right, have a good weekend, man. Thanks for the time today. All right, guys, take care. That's Howard Balzer. Find him on Twitter or X H Balzer. Appreciate the uh, time with him, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye out what's going on with the Arizona Cardinals. Sounds like there's a lot of stuff, and uh, there's still a few black clouds over this organization. Stuff.